Today, my friends, viewers, non-sovereign citizens, we're going to watch a video that I found in uh, the Reddit, some subreddits of a Norwegian sovereign citizen. So that's uh, what you'll hear a lot of people uh, talking about on the internet in regards to sovereign citizens is whether or not they exist in other countries. It's pretty well known that they exist in Commonwealth countries, countries from great, you know, that have a root in, in British history, such as Canada, Australia, the United States, Great Britain. But you would be uh, excited to know that they exist in other countries as well. So uh, I'm gonna have this format with me in the corner. We're gonna have the video over here. We're gonna watch it. Uh, it, it is in Norwegian. It's not in a language that I understand, so I don't know what they're saying, but we're going to have a little fun uh, in interpreting what they're saying and what's going on and making some observations between sovereign citizen movement in uh, Norway and what we normally see in the United States. So before we begin, uh, let's do our same time sip today, a little more diet. Also, subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoy this content. I have a Patreon. Feel free to donate to me. Every penny counts. Every like counts. Every comment counts. It gets me higher on YouTube. Helps me make a little bit of money off this so that I have more free time to create this content, which I enjoy doing and I know you enjoy as well. So feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Now, before uh, we begin to watch this video the the introduction that i found on reddit said that this was a so, a, a female sovereign citizen in Norway. Now you'll see over there a female and then a male who's a little bit taller. It appears those two are the sovereign citizens. And what's going on is a crowd has gathered around their house. They're being evicted. And what I've been told is that the arguments that they make in this video are of a sovereign nature. So let's check this. Let's let's watch a little bit of this. We're going to watch about five minutes. Um, and oh, let me move back here. Okay. Here's a video. <laughs> Now you can see that the that there's press there. It looks like they've set up this little bit of press conference. There's individuals with cameras and video cameras, and then you can see in the back, if you go way back in the background, um, up here there are some police officers. Now you'll see that the the house. Uh, behind them is the one that they're being evicted from and there's police officers and there's, there's going to be tape. So the first observation that I made uh, of this eviction and these sovereign citizens is that um, this woman is uh, a very very attractive looking woman and uh, this guy, probably not a bad looking guy himself. Um, I think we can all agree that the sovereign citizens in Norway are a little better looking on average than the sovereign citizens that we see in the United States. I mean, watch some of my, my prior videos and that is gonna crack you up a little bit. This is all fun, people, this is all fun. Okay, so uh, very, very, and the other thing too is, is this woman appears to be very nice very calm and if you look in front of her she's got uh some papers there i'm assuming that those are the eviction papers and little points that she's highlighted and uh she's making her case in a very cool calm and collected manner something that the sovereign citizens in the united states just don't seem to have the ability to do um, and you know, she's going to get gain a lot. You're going to gain a lot more sympathy with these arguments. If you do them in a nice, calm way in, in the manner in which you, uh, deliver your argument. So let's watch uh, a little bit more of this. Daniel. 
Okay, the police are pulling up. I can't understand a word he's saying. I tried to put sub subtitles on, they just didn't work. Here come more police. Okay, here comes the hammer. All the press is there to watch. This must be a big deal in Norway. Because the United States will get about 150 sovereign citizen incidents a day. <laughs> They do make the news. They do make the news once in a while. When the police have to crack heads, they make the news. Kind of boring, I know. There's a good part coming up. There's a good part coming up. We're gonna watch too. Uh, I wonder if the. I think these are other people in the movement. Other people in the movement who are there uh, to support the sovereigns in opposing the government eviction. <laughs> Here we go. There's a protest sign. Okay, and the rest of the video is uh, fairly uneventful there, um, but, uh, you know, the, what I like there is that they all joined together and they started singing Kumbaya at the end. It was a very peaceful protest. Listen, if you want to be these sovereign citizens, they should learn from this. They should go out. They should protest peacefully, peacefully, not violently, not resisting uh, physically, okay? And, and the police here were very accommodating. If you watch the rest of the video, I'll put a link to it in the bottom, okay? They remove, everybody gets removed. They put tape around the house. That's it. That's it. Uh, but I thought it was interesting to observe this video from Norway, and you could see how polite these sovereign citizens were. They were also very attractive, and I thought I saw the one dude who had a, uh, he had like a biker, like it looks like a, a Hell's Angel biker crew uh, in Norway, which uh, I also got a kick out of. I can say one thing, though. I'm a landlord, and evicting people is a huge pain in the ass, and it's important. Sometimes you got to get people out. Now, I don't know the reasons that these people were evicted um and i'm not saying we shouldn't provide housing to people who can't afford it or affordable housing but you shouldn't live in housing that you can't 
afford. So I hope you enjoyed this video a little, uh, you know, a little, little different from the sovereign citizens that we see in America who, uh, who, who resist much more, in my opinion, they resist more forcefully and many of them are not articulate and it's usually in a vehicle which leads to bad news. Um, if you enjoy the Common Sense Academy, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can drop me a donation on Patreon. I'm going to release exclusive content on there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Joe Pometto and the Common Sense Academy checking out. Is okay? Du står personligt ansvarlig for den handling, du har sat i gang nu. Og All the press is there to watch. This must be a big deal in Norway. Because the United States will get about 150 sovereign citizen incidents a day. <laughs> they do make the news. They do make the news once in a while. When the police have to crack heads, they make the news. Kind of boring, I know. There's a good part coming up. There's a good part coming up. We're gonna watch too. Uh, I wonder if the. I think these are other people in the movement. Other people in the movement who are there uh, to support the sovereigns in opposing the government eviction. Here we go. There's a protest sign. Okay, and the rest of the video is uh, fairly uneventful there, um, but you know, the, what I like there is that they all joined together and they started singing Kumbaya at the end. It was a very peaceful protest. Listen, if you want to be these sovereign citizens, they should learn from this. They should go out. They should protest peacefully, peacefully, not violently, not resisting uh, physically, okay? And, and the police here were very accommodating. If you watch the rest of the video, I'll put a link to it in the bottom, okay? They remove, everybody gets removed. They put tape around the house. That's it. That's it. Uh, but I thought it was interesting to observe this video from Norway, and you could see how polite these sovereign citizens were. They were also very attractive, and I thought I saw the one dude who had a, uh, he had like a biker, like it looks like a, a Hell's Angel biker crew uh, in Norway, which uh, I also got a kick out of. I can say one thing, though. I'm a landlord, and evicting people is a huge pain in the ass, and it's important. Sometimes you got to get people out. Now, I don't know the reasons that these people were evicted um and i'm not saying we shouldn't provide housing to people who can't afford it or affordable housing but you shouldn't live in housing that you can't 
afford. So I hope you enjoyed this video a little, uh, you know, a little, little different from the sovereign citizens that we see in America who, uh, who, who resist much more, in my opinion, they resist more forcefully and many of them are not articulate and it's usually in a vehicle which leads to bad news. Um, if you enjoy the Common Sense Academy, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can drop me a donation on Patreon. I'm going to release exclusive content on there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Joe Pometto and the Common Sense Academy checking out.